Hi guys, Terry here. By now you may have seen some of my videos about the uh, Scan and Cut and scanning your scrapbook albums. Um, I'm so excited to have discovered or realized, I don't know why it took me a while to realize, that we have a built-in 12 by 12 scanner in our Scan and Cut. So I was thinking about uh, all the things in my house that I'm clearing out, I'm decluttering, and one of the things we have is the scrapbook albums, and I love them dearly. Uh, they're taking up space. I do want to pass them along to my children, um, but I wanted to make sure I had a copy of them, right? So um, I decided to scan each page using my scan and cut. It's working great, um, but I've done, I've, I think I'm on my fifth album now, so I've learned a few things and I want to share those things with you. So uh, one of the things I'm learning is on the pages is that if there's any kind of brad or button, um, I have to uh, take those out. Um, and I, yeah, I started putting them back in and then I thought I'm not going to worry about it. So um, so I'm forgoing the buttons and brads, um, unless it's something that I do want to stick back on there. Um, but I've been pleasantly surprised how much fits under that uh, scanner bar. Um, you know, it wheels into the machine, it rolls the mat in, and uh, I mean, I've got letters that are popped up. Um, if they're too thick, they won't go through. And of course, if you're doing the um, Crate of Memory pages that are, um, you know, if you've glued your pictures to the pages, uh, you've got to keep in mind that you've got the top page, you've got the actual scrapbook page, and then you've also got another layer on there. So. Those three may not go through if you've got a lot of thick letters on it, um, but if you have just a normal page, normal pictures, no brads or buttons on either page, this whole thing, including the plastic sheet, will go through the scan and cut. So uh, that's been working really well. Um, so I usually take the book apart. Um, if I can take the page out separately, I do. A lot of my pages I built um, on a separate page and then I slid them inside the uh, Creative Memories plastic sheet. Um, so um, if I can I pull it out just because I think it makes for it easier for the machine to go through. Um, so that's all been working great. Um, I scan it and then uh, what I want to show you here on the screen is found another little fabulous tip. <laughs> uh, I think I discovered this on about the fourth album. So when you uh, load it through the machine and it goes through and it says it has transferred and you go into your brother uh, Canvas workspace and click on file and import from your cutting machine that scanned image and that comes into the software here. Of course I click to get rid of this blue select bar. Okay, I click anywhere on the page and then that makes that blue line go away. And then let me get me out of the way here. If I hold down the Windows button on my machine, and I'll insert what I mean by that little Windows button. Um, if I hold that down and the print screen button, I don't know if you saw the screen blink there, but what that did was it saved to my pictures screenshots folder on my machine. So um, that's just a default for Windows. And then what's happening is that saved, let me see if I can find it, that saved the screen that we were just on here. So here it is. So just holding that Windows key down and hitting the print screen, it does a screenshot. Now, I'm going to have to come back in here and crop these photos, but that's okay because I want to put my two page layouts beside each other. So I want to take the first page that I scanned and the second page I scanned and put them together. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just at the machine, I'm telling it to scan, I'm loading each page in one by one, and in the software I bring it over and then I do that Windows print screen. So I'm just cranking through, scanning them, hitting the print screen, and then when I get done with that album, I'll come back to these pictures. And then what I'll do is I'll just right mouse click and edit it. Now I use Paint. You feel free to use the software that you want to use. Um, I'm going to zoom out here because I want to just crop this inside, so I'm clicking the Select button. And again, this is Paint. You use what you feel most comfortable with. 
and then I simply select that and hit the crop and then I save that so now if I view this at 100% there's my really good um, you know scan of this layout now notice the red dots and I've mentioned this before um, you can simply drag that line over and then keep rotating and just what happened was I didn't crop it very well I kind of just did it quickly so now I'm just going along and I'm just dragging that inside border I'm just dragging that over quickly I, I can do that quicker than trying to carefully um, crop my mouse um, there and then I'll just rotate right and I'll save that file so now and it's saving it notice the file name is screenshot 39 when I go in and I start stitching those files together um, and I'll show you how to do that in a future video but um, when I uh, get done with these files I'll rename them and I'll usually put the year first so I'll put you know whatever year this was 2014 um, and then maybe it was March so I'll put 03 and then I'll say what it was uh, just some brief little word there in case I want to search for those words um, but that way I'm by putting the year in there I can then search all my um, images uh, in chronological order that way when I go into my filming software and make a slideshow and add music I can just sort those images by date order and that's working great because then I can just quickly put them to music and upload that video to YouTube and share with friends so loving that process so um, let me see oh so one thing else that we learned um, I was at a crop recently and a friend had um, I've got the 650 and it had the wireless option to transfer from the machine to the software that was built in and on all the DX machines all the new machines all the DX machines have that built in but if you have a 350 model um, those were an earlier machine it was a little bit cheaper and it did not have the wireless built in so you'll have to get a uh, activation card and um, her and I were searching high and low on where you get that activation card it looks like you can't buy it from brother online it said they were out of stock I don't understand that but um, I think if you find a brother authorized dealer in your area you can go get one of those cards and like I said you only need that if you have an older machine so check the manual out for your machine um, or I'll, in my blog post I'll have a link to the brother uh, website where you can look up your model and you can see what's built in and maybe um, how to find a uh, brother dealer near you so you can find that activation card if you need to um, so ask any questions if you're starting this process and doing this um, I think I'm going to use the hashtag uh, 12 by 12 scan and I think that if we all start tagging our information with that 12 by 12 scan um, we can learn from each other so ask your questions in the comments and you guys have been um, so I'll be answering those in uh, future videos so subscribe and uh, we can stay in touch that way so I'm just so excited about this new print screen because before I was hitting the print screen I was going into paste and I was pasting it but now I can do that windows and print screen and it just goes uh, right there to that directory so loving that um, and yeah I just encourage you to digitally scan all the hard work that you've done in your scrapbook album so hope you have a great week and thanks for watching Bye, guys.